Hey, what's up? So, social media, what is it to you? Is it a place where you can vent, you can complain about things, you can share pictures of your dogs and your children? Or is it a place where you can express your stupidity like a lot of people do? Like a lot of people. Hey, what's up? Blank changed her profile picture. Picture. I must commend you on your choice of profile pics. They really advertise your biological prowess. Your voluptuous figure, along with your fair complexion, tells me that you are healthy and therefore would make a great choice for a breeding partner. I must ask, though, how would you rate your ability to climb trees? I ask because, in the off chance a ground predator were to loom the horizon, we could both escape via the trees without me having to risk my life in an attempt to defend you from said predator. If my instincts are correct, then I believe a biological pairing between us may be a practical and mutually benefiting affair. Would you be available for some light discourse? Wow, intelligent and creepy all at the same time. Not a lot of people can pull that off. Not a lot of people can make themselves look very intelligent, but also make themselves look like a serial killer. That is the worst pickup line I have ever heard. I think you should run, my dear. I don't think it's ever attractive when someone's like, you would make a great breeding partner. Mm. I guess it's better than just being like, hey, want sex? Hey, I liked your profile picture. You look very bangable. Maybe this guy's just more advanced than most of us. He's just taking a more advanced approach. Maybe he's from the future and he's back here to pick up on some of the past women because they're healthier. Maybe in the future there's like smog problems and diseases and everyone's deformed and he's like, I'm here to find a breeding partner. Maybe everyone talks like that in the future. I don't know. Let's just move on. I'm getting crazy with this. Booby watching should be a sport. Look at this fucking degenerate. Clearly he's butt ass naked. He's just watching people's boobs. He's trying to spy on women and jerk off at the same time. Why don't you tell everyone about your sport when you're in jail for being a predator? You know what booby watching is? It's a great way to get yourself put on a list, on a predator's list, on a sexual predator list. So while you're watching people's boobies, you can also knock on your neighbor's doors and be like, by the way, I am a sexual offender and I will be watching you with the binoculars. But don't worry, I'm, a, I'm an Olympic level boob watcher. So I'm gonna be watching him good. Corn rolls. Aw, that poor simple white girl. Who the fuck brings a bag of chopped red onions to school just to throw them in the toilet? I fucking hate my school. Maybe they brought it to school thinking it was a bag of drugs. And then the cops were snooping around and he panicked and he tried to flush it down the toilet. Maybe he thought it was a bag of weed. He thought it was that purple sticky icky. I'd like to meet you. Well, that was a creepy ass thing to say. LOL, nah, not at all. Uh, okay, get off me. Okay, and that's why the world is a cold, sad place. Best you to full people more afraid of friendliness than seeking the possibility of goodness. Nope, I love friendliness. I just don't like creeps. Yeah, no. The world is a cold place because you're 36 and have children and she just turned 18, goodbye. I can't believe this guy's trying to play it off like he's not creepy. Like, I'm just trying to, I've been just waiting here, waiting by the clock, watching your profile for the last five years and I'm like, she's 18, boom, I'm sending a message. How is that creepy? I've been waiting for you to ripen. How is that creepy? My kids love me, by the way. My wife fucking hates me, but my kids love me. I can never grab a girl's butt. Too shy, and tis not gentlemanly. Plus, our butts are where our poop and farts come out of. Why would we want our hand around someone else's sewage factory? Just don't make sense. I was just let go from job. Any type of donation would be appreciated. Thank you. I hate when I get let go from a job. Also, you literally quit. I turned in my paper to my professor last night, and this morning I realized I forgot to change the title. How's your day going? And she titled it, Fuck my life. Putting my grades up for adoption because I can't raise them myself. I just did a presentation in class and I was stuttering and someone in the back yelled, R -r 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 remix I'm dropping out. This is a post from Snoop Dogg. Seriously, this is some of the weirdest shit I've signed. Like, it's a little girl with titties. Snoop Dogg. Look at this fucking guy. Look how excited he is to have his pillow signed by Snoop Dogg. And later he's gonna go marry it. 100% non-serial killer thing to do is just print this up and put it all over town with black duct tape. Okay, ladies, I get it. You don't want a pleasant evening chat. You don't want a gentleman to walk you to your car. You don't want a friendly dude to help you carry your grocery or hold open the door or crush the life out of the other men that would do you harm. Fine. Fear the good guys, I guess we'll just have to suffer through watching you get broken over and over by the scum you think you love. But I want you to know, it's not easy, and it hurts to see you fall. Give the good guys a chance to help you be less afraid of the world. I just imagine this guy, like, waiting for women 
It's like midnight. They're walking home from the bar, and he just like comes out of an alleyway, and he's like, "Can I walk you to your car?" And then she's like, "Ah, uh, no, bye," and just walks away. And he's like, "What the fuck did I do wrong?" I've been waiting in this dark alleyway for three hours. I followed you to the bar. I want to make sure you get home safe. Maybe he just doesn't realize he's stalking women. Maybe he thinks that's the approach to women. Like how he says, you don't want a pleasant evening chat. I just imagine it's like pitch black outside. And he pops out from behind a bush and he's like, hello, lady. Would you like to have a chat with me? And she's like, no, bye. And just like scurries off. And he's like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? I hid in this bush for three hours and finally a woman came by. I just think he's taking the wrong approach and he doesn't realize it. He might be a nice guy, but he's also coming off like a fucking serial killer. So a young driver stops in with an older car complaining that the iPhone dock in his vehicle isn't working and it's scratching his phone. <laughs> that's, oh, that's fucking priceless. It's funny because you know how they say like older people get confused with new technology? Now that there's so much technology out there that the same thing happens to younger people. Younger people try to use old technology and it just fucking confuses them and scares them. It's the equivalent to an 80 year old trying to figure out something brand new. Young people just can't figure out that old shit. <laughs> it's hilarious. I heard this the other day and it's pretty accurate. The reason guys play video games all the time is because it is stimulating enough and holds a lot of cognitive attention to distract men from rape urges. It takes the thrill away for a while so they can control their testosterone and urge to rape. All right, I am a man who loves video games and I have never had the urge to rape someone, so 100% accurate. All right, you know what? I've never had the urge to rape someone. I am a man with raging testosterone. I have never looked at someone walking by and been like, damn, I better go home and play some video games or I'm gonna rape that girl. That's, <laughs> that is not an accurate, that's not accurate at all. Although I do play a lot of video games. So maybe that's the only reason I don't get that urge. Huh. This kind of shit is going way too far, okay? Not every man in the world has urges to rape people. This shit is going way too far. That is not accurate at all. I hate how Nintendo still does this bullshit with download codes. Now I have to put this long ass code in. Fuck you guys, my code doesn't work. That was a $50 eHop card, god damn it! He learned a very valuable lesson today, is that you don't put personal information like that online or people just take it. People on the internet are dicks. Have you not realized that yet? You thought you could just put that code up there and no one would try to use it? Maybe instead of bitching, you should have just typed your code in so you could get your $50. Now someone else is enjoying your $50. He learned a very valuable life lesson. I don't even feel bad for him because you know what? He's never going to take a picture of valuable information and put it online. At least it was just a $50 Nintendo card. It wasn't his credit card or his birth certificate or his social insurance number. He learned a very valuable lesson. Ugh, collage is stressing me out. Then don't do a collage. Hell no. I'm going to collage and I'm going to med school, so I will. Ha <laughs> ha, sorry. I'm not going to be a dumb. All right then, collages are fun. I did them when I was younger. I made a collage in college once. It scares me that she's going to med school and she doesn't know how to spell college. That's frightening. That person could be performing surgery on you one day. Yeah. First test day of the semester, and as always, I allow a 3x5 note card. Today, a student shows up with this. Sure enough, it is 3x5 feet. As precise as I am, apparently I never specified inches, and therefore, yes, it was allowed. Well played, and lesson learned for me. Beating the system. I like that she just owned up to her mistake. She wasn't like, no, that's not allowed. You know what I meant. She was just like, she outsmarted me. Fuck it. She's gonna ace this test. You gotta respect her balls. The fact that pretty teeth are only known as white and straight is a manifestation for a hatred for minorities. When people find a way to turn dental hygiene into a social justice issue, that's when you know this website has gone overboard. I like that my teeth are straight and white, but that doesn't mean I don't like gay black males. That's not what I'm trying to say. That, people read too much into shit, like, ah, Drives me fucking insane. People just want to get mad at everything these days. They just want to find a reason to bitch. It's so fucking annoying. Everyone, like just a fucking world full of snowflakes. Just everyone is so fucking sensitive these days. It drives me insane. That's what the fucking internet did to the world. Just made everyone so fucking sensitive. Even right now, there's sensitive people that are hearing what I'm saying and they're gonna get really sensitive about it. That's, that's the world we live in now. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyone want DVDs? My bro makes really good quality DVDs. He's making us a lot of good DVDs that I like and that my boys like. He would sell them for $3 a DVD and two for $7. If interested, let me know. 
smiley face. One for three dollars and two for seven dollars? That's dumb. Well, who cares? They turn out really good, way better than all the other people who sell them for five dollars for one. If you think it's dumb, then don't buy any. No, like, if you're selling one for three dollars, sell two for five, not seven, because three plus three equals six. Okay, what's the difference? Six is in the middle of five and seven. But whatever, I'm deleting this post anyway. My mother is trying to seduce me, help. My father died when I was nine and I am living with my mom and sister. My sister is now in college and is not at home. Sorry, my sister is now in college and is not a home. She is not a house. I'm living alone with my mom now. Recently, she has been doing a lot of weird things like walking around the house with only her lingerie and with her bathrobe with nothing underneath. She seemed to forget to lock the door while taking her shower. These things didn't bother me until the past few weeks when I started getting a little sexually excited. I could not hold back from masturbating. I simply can't help myself. If this goes like this, I will make love to her and I hear it is not the right thing to do. What am I supposed to do? I don't know if she's really trying to get you in bed then just fucking i think it's time to move out i think it's time for you i don't know how old you are you might only be like 15 16. it's time to move on you gotta move out you gotta get yourself a job you gotta live on the street just live on the street it's better than your mom trying to fucking sleep with you and hit on you that's fucked up here's an idea don't sleep with your fucking mom there's what you can do just don't when she leaves the door unlocked close it and be like, Mom, you forgot to lock the door. When she's walking around in lingerie, be like, Mom, put some fucking clothes on. You're being weird. Just just tell her these things. <laughs> Definitely don't. I, like, I hear it's not the right thing to do. Shouldn't you already know it's not the right thing to do? Shouldn't that be instilled in your brain as a moral? Bottom line, here's my advice to you is don't sleep with your mom. Any, This goes for everyone. Don't sleep with your mothers, people. Don't have sex with your moms. All right? Don't do it. That's a little PSA from Fluffy Talks. Don't have sex with your own mom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, guess I got one more thing to whisper in your ear. Just come here. Come up here real quick. Come up to your screen. Put your face up to the screen. <gasps> Boop.